So um, let me shortly introduce myself. I'm Michael Binyak, and I'm senior front-end developer in Inno Games, and I'm working in Grepolis game. Yeah, so let me shortly, shortly introduce to Grepolis game. What is it? A few short facts. So it's a browser-based strategy game, which is set in ancient Greece. Uh, there is over 20 million registered users. It's translated to 22 languages. And I think what is more important that all front-end is done in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And we are using some newest features from HTML5, like uh, History API. We are using audio, obviously, and uh, Canvas, and of course, CSS3, so like transitions or animations. And yeah, so let's go back to presentation. Uh, what is the plan for today? Uh, at the very beginning, I would like to show you uh, or do short introduction what our audio sprites. Afterwards, how we are using uh, sounds in Grepolis game and what is our case there. Uh, afterwards, few words about uh, preparation, how the files should look like and what is important during when we are merging them into one. Uh, afterwards, some tests uh, about the memory usage, CPU, and file size, and short summary at the end. All right, so what are audio sprites? Uh, let me explain how it looks like, uh, starting with image sprites, which I saw it's quite usual for everyone that everyone knows what is it. So we are merging multiple files into one file, and afterwards to get immediate access to it. And well, to use that, we usually are using CSS rules so we can be somehow pixel perfect. So we are minimizing the space between them somehow with the rectangles around it. Yeah, I'm just surprised all, almost the same. However, the content is a little bit different. It's sounds. So we are merging sound, different sounds into one. Um, yeah, well, actually, we can't be pixel perfect because uh, the, we are here using time, so it's also hard to be millisecond perfect, as it depends on the hardware. But so then we have to separate different files by silence. And afterwards, we are using time update event to handle when the sounds should stop in this one huge file. And of course, we're then using instead of CSS rules, some JSON, JS config, so JSON or XML. Yeah, so let's do a short presentation how we are using it in Grepolis game. I think I have it opened here already. Yeah, so this is Grepolis game. Uh, oh, it's a little bit cut. Um, to, to maybe make it a little bit smaller just to get. Well, it's, it's, it's fine now. Um, yeah, so we can, we, at the very beginning, we have some uh, cities here. So let's start it. Um, so, and, and this city, uh, the goal of the game is to conquer all island at the beginning and afterwards to conquer a uh, whole world. So it's a little big. Yeah, and if you wanted to conquer the world, uh, we can do it alone, or yeah, we can use it to, together with others to set up some alliances and so on. And I think what is the most important part to conquer are the, our army or units, and so we have to somehow recruit them. And we can do it in the city overview. It's a little bit, I think, too loud. Maybe try it to do. Mm, yeah. Uh, this internet here is working quite not well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's try. Uh, no, it seems that. Try to restart. Yeah, live demo. Um, is it it's not working? All right, we are back. Let's try to open it again. Yeah, now we are here. Um, yeah, and if we wanted to recruit units, we have to go uh, to barracks. 
And as we can see here, we have a lot of different units which we, can, which we can recruit. So let's say we recruit the first one. Yep. And then we have to wait till the end of the recruitation process. Uh, the other stuff, when we wanted to, for example, to get uh, different technologies, different units, we have to go to the academy and get to start to uh, extend or, or to research new technologies. Also, a few other stuff to manage gods, to manage our trades, and so on. So as we can notice here, we are playing a lot of short sound effects to different buildings, to different units, um, and they are playing somehow in the different sound sets for each window or for you know, each view. So let me shortly introduce uh, or a summary. Um, Uh, what we have there, so what uh, we wanted to play our short audio files. Uh, they are playing somehow separately, at least according to the sound sets, and we are not going to loop it. And our goals in the Gropolis game were to make as fast initialization, initialization as possible. Uh, we also wanted to split the sound sets because we wanted to request them on demand just to not use whole bandwidth of the user at the very beginning of the game. And we also wanted to deliver to i9 users as many sounds as possible, or like to other browsers, because uh, we met some limitations with 40 audio players created at once. And as the, in the game is over 150 sounds, then it was a little bit uh, hard. Yeah, so let's start with some JavaScript. This is example of the config. Um, yeah, so. We have to just pass when the sound starts and when, e when the ends. This is actually current example from Gropolis game, so the property name is the ID of the sound. Afterwards, we have ID of the sound sprite, and then when it starts, so the first one at zero second and ends at three seconds, uh, 75. And as we can notice here, these breaks between different sounds are two seconds, and the next one starting at 5.75. Yeah, what's the idea of implementation? And this is actually Ropa uh, for the uh, audio element that we are here playing, just fragment of it. We are passing this fragment from our config. Um, so at the very beginning, we are just setting the current time from the start uh, property from the fragment, um, then assigning even listener time update to so our callback function, and we are starting playing sound. Uh, yeah, and on every tick of time update, which should be ticked at least once in 250 milliseconds according to specification, we are checking if we already reached the end of um, our sound, which is set in config. And if so, then we are just stopping it, and then we can do some reset of it and set some extra states. As we already said a few words about the silence between different sounds merged into one, um, yeah, we have to somehow determine what is the uh, optimal pause. Uh, this is important because this also somehow make impact to the file sizes. Um, and this time update specifically said that it should be triggered at least once in 250 milliseconds. But if this, there's something going uh, on the background, like game with some animations, uh, and we are running it on mobiles, then it could be triggered a little bit less often so we can reach something over one second. So if you wanted to avoid some glitches, we have to determine our, our devices uh, what will be the perfect pause. And as we can notice on the graph on the bottom, uh, the file size of it is not really uh, different. Usually we can on OGG, we can always make, have smaller files. But yeah, MP3 is somehow uh, a little bit uh, worse, especially with compressing the silence. And what's important when we are compressing files, we sh always should use VBR, so uh, variable bitrate, because it's compressing silence really well. Um, yeah, if we wanted to have numbers, here's comparison, audio sprites to separate files. So as you can notice, the OGG is always almost 8% better. Yeah, MP3 is uh, a little bit worse, and it's anyway growing instantly. Uh, linearly, about yeah, 8% on every jump of the second. Um, yeah, N4A is a little bit smaller, but 
It's not a huge issue. Yeah, let's move to the tests. Um, on the browsers, we tested memory usage and CPU usage for them, and we tested the newest Chrome, the newest Firefox, and the a little bit older Internet Explorer, which is actually most popular. And some independent values like size of the files and number of requests. Uh, yeah, this is a full list of the sound sprites used in uh, our game, in Grapolis game. And as we can notice, some of these uh, sound sprites are all bigger, some are smaller, but even if we can save one audio, audio player, audio element for Internet Explorer, I think this is worth it. And I tested uh, memory and CPU usage on two cases. One is Grapolis case, so somehow we are playing one side af one sound after another. And the other edge case, which I also prepared, uh, is 10 cent at once. So we are trying to play all of the sounds the same moment. And then we need not only this one on two audio elements to handle sound sprites, but we have to create extra one so then we can notice some uh, issues. Um, and I tested it on two data sets, one on barracks, which I already shown, and academy as well. Yeah, so as we can notice, memory usage for the Grapolis case um, is really good for the uh, uh, sound sprites. We are saving a lot of memory, especially because of uh, audio elements. So it's like twice smaller. And yeah. A little bit different is for 10 sounds at once. So as we can notice, if you have to create more audio elements which are handling bigger files, memory usage will be way bigger. So I think in games like uh, Counter-Strike, where we have a lot of explosions or something, we can think about other solution. Uh, Talking about memory, I would also like to show you the difference between what we get the memory usage when we enable sounds, and we are just creating audio elements, and after we play them. So in the Grapolis case, we can notice that if the percentage comparison is almost the same for the sprites and for the separate uh, sounds. So nothing really uh, interesting. But for the 10 sounds at once, when we are creating a lot of new audio elements, the difference from the beginning and, and the afterwards, it's really huge. So we can be surprised afterwards that the memory usage is so big and what we have to do with that and handle all these additional audio elements. CPU usage for sounds are usually, it's usually no, no problem. Um, it's about uh, half percent of CPU usage when we are playing one sound. The peaks here, which we can notice, is like only when we are setting current time so we are starting the new audio sprite part. It's, of course, different for 10 sound at once, when at the beginning we are creating the new audio elements and we are trying to set them. Uh, as you can notice, at the beginning is a huge peak. So for example, Chrome was using almost whole uh, core to running it. And afterwards, anyway, the CPU usage is like 10%. So it's really big, and especially comparing to mobiles where we are trying to run it. and we don't have so much uh, yeah, operation per second, it could be a little bit a uh, problem. On the Firefox, we can only notice that this jumps for the time update handling. Yeah, the last thing which we tested are our size of files. So we, I already spoiled it. Uh, the OGG is smaller usually, uh, always. MP3 is sometimes smaller, sometimes bigger. As we can notice, if we have bigger files, then usually it's a little bit smaller. For the R's, a little bit bigger. And M4A, yes, slightly small difference. And yeah, the error speed factor is still number of requests. So in the Grapolis game, we went down from 152 requests for the sounds to 13, which is quite awesome. It's like 8% of that. Um, yeah, for the other, this is uh, exact yeah, sizes of the files. So let's do a short summary. So what we wanted to achieve in the Grapolis game and uh, what uh, we wanted to achieve anyway using audio sprites is to prepare solution for IE somehow to get immediate access to all of them without creating, managing how many audio sprites we already have 
And for mobiles, it's also really important where we have limitations with the memory. Um, we also achieve the smaller files, the less re requests to the server, so somehow we can also avoid situation that there are some errors or whatever during the creation, the connection to the server. Uh, in, in the Grapolis case, in the Grapolis game, we reach also lower memory usage during the playing and creation of all of these parts. And for the others who wanted to test it, if it's really worth to use it, it's supported by quite known libraries like Sound Manager 2. So just feel free and put it there with the config. What we didn't want to achieve, and what was shown on this R, our edge case, is like a 10 sounds at once case, and where the speed usage is really high, and the memory usage is really high. Uh, the other bad parts are like uh, complicated code to write if you wanted to do it by this library, some library by our own. So in this situation, we have to catch all these events, and we have to take care when to stop, when to start. We have to re rely on time update event, which I already told is kind of buggy, or not buggy, but it's not really reliable. So on the mobiles, we can have some problems with some glitches on playing two sounds, which we shouldn't do that. And of course, the loops, because of the silence be before, uh, between these or merge files. So without fade in and fade out, we can't do anything. All right, uh, thank you for your attention. Yep, that's all. Thank you, Michal. Um, do we have any questions? Um, I have a question. Uh, uh, with, especially with image sprites, uh, a lot of the pain that's around image sprites is ostensibly going to be solved with something like HTTP2 or Speedy. Uh, how is that going to affect audio sprites? Does that make any sense? So to so like in, term, in terms of requests, right? You don't actually have a request for each thing, right? You could actually batch push down a bunch of things. So you don't need to sprite anymore. Um, does that is that something that you guys? Yeah. Have so done? for audio sprites, we are reaching the, the smaller files anyway, small requests, and we have immediate access. So if you are trying, for example, start uh, setting up the new audio element on mobiles, right. it takes some time, right. and here you have already created everything. We just have to set the current time and play it. So it's way faster. OK, cool. OK, any questions? Any other questions? OK, okay. thank you. So, so if you have more questions about the other surprise or gaming, so feel free to ask me afterwards or my colleagues from Inno Games with these badges, extra badges. So yeah. Cool. Thank you, Miguel. So two. <laughs>